Man always debates on this planet Earth. Someone is atheist while the other is completely theist. On the basis of this independence, we decide what kind of life we want to live. To live a wonderful and happy life, four kinds of purusharth, the four goals of human life are given. Dharma, Arth, Wealth, Kaam, Desires and Moksha, Liberation have been told for the theists. An atheist limits his life to money, immersed in insensitive thoughts and materialism. While the theist moves ahead in the journey of life through karma, wealth, service to others, devotion and knowledge. To people who are malevolent, atheist, adharmis and sophist, everyone else seems hypocrites except their own limited knowledge and experiences. Their limited behavior becomes the source of their sufferings. That's why they are busy in declaring the dharm and the ones who abide by dharm as fools and hypocrites through criticism, misinformation and conspiracies. Despite their tireless efforts, the auspicious Ganga of spirituality and dharm is flowing since eons. The ancient tradition of Kulant Pit is the pure Ganga similar to that. Receiving the Dev Diksha is the foremost and regular duty of the followers of Kulant Pit. What is Dev Diksha and what is its technique? All this is explained in the scripture called Kulant Diksha Sar. In the process of receiving Diksha, it's described that one should receive Diksha by donating wealth, land, gold or precious gems. Because the Dev Diksha is finest and is beneficial in all ways. The places to pass on the different Diksha are also myriad. The Dev Diksha of the Kulant Pit are completed according to Mantrakram sitting on the auspicious mountains. The meaning of Diksha is to begin receiving the divine knowledge under the refuge of Kulant Pit and to receive the Ashirvad, the blessings of Kuladevi, Bhagwan Sri Swachand Bhairav Shiv and of Kulant Nath. There is a secret and wonderful world of knowledge and wisdom right from the small Dikshas to the big Virat Dikshas that the Siddhas of Himalayas created. The Trisatya, the three truths are considered behind the sacred Dev Diksha. The first is dedication, service and knowledge of tradition. If a person doesn't have dedication towards his work, he can never achieve the goal. Service is the way to free oneself from the shackle of animalism and to gain mastery over the self. Only after gaining the knowledge of the tradition, one can take his devotion towards the goal according to the tradition. For example, the tradition of the river is to flow between its banks. The river has to follow this tradition to meet the ocean. Second is capability, protection of dharma and devatva. It's very important to gain the power. That's why Siddhas have directed to gain both kinds of powers, material and spiritual. This is the reason that Kulant P do not talk about complete renunciation, but it always talks about protection of dharm. How can the dharm be protected? By giving donation and your support. That's why Dikshas, Yagyas building the temples, creation of idols and statues, building libraries, distribution of food and prasad, and many other works are operated through wealth. Why did adharm and atheism increase on this planet today? Because wealth has reached in the hands of adharmis, conspirators and atheists. Power is in the hands of adharmis, conspirators and atheists. And they did the same from this power what they can do, spreading misinformation, Sophism and conspiracies against dharm and the people who abide by dharm. The biggest contribution in increasing adharm is of your adharmi behavior and your mean behavior of not giving donation and support. Today, there is no creator of scriptures left in the tradition. No sculptor is left. No one is left who can take the tradition forward. No one is left who can oppose adharmis, conspirators and atheists. There is no one left who can oppose the bad policies in the state power. There is no one left who is the protector of dharm. Why? Because all of them are devoid of powers. You eat all day long to make yourself happy, spend on your clothes, entertainment and so on. But you don't think about protection of dharm and tradition. 
on the contrary money can be saved little by little every single day and from that the work on protecting and promotion of the dharm can be done but you don't do it that's why your sinning behavior is the supporter of this present kaluk and adharm that's why now it's time that originate the feeling of giving donation receiving diksha and support only from this the devatva will be born in you and adharm will be destroyed only from this the devatva will be nurtured in you and adharm will be destroyed only from this the devatva will be nurtured in you and adharm will be destroyed third is clothes food environment alankar shastra and scriptures the dev diksha teaches to follow special traditional dresses food environment alankar shastra and scriptures this will help you to be independent in this world and create your special environment only in this environment you will be able to take yourself and your upcoming generations forward to take birth as a human on this prithvi planet earth is an extremely miraculous event only after living a worthy life by understanding the true value of this life and creating such divine environment for everyone one should attain death this is how kulant peet has created a beautiful process for regular dev diksha for its people who abide by dharma in which there's a brilliant inclusion of knowledge wisdom yoga devotion tantra service dedication and much more that's why to receive diksha is to become a warrior of dharma it stings the adharmis of kaliyug a lot that why the dharmic people collect wealth and power reason is clear to take the dharm forward to take the tradition forward is downfall of adharmic evil powers and is empowerment of the self the siddhas of himalayas have been very compassionate towards the people of kulant peet who followed her by establishing this amazing tradition of dev diksha which the followers of himalayan siddha tradition are following ceaselessly